good morning good evening good afternoon and whichever time you're watching this welcome to ssc and in this video we are going to discuss about current affairs covering national and international news for second week of february 2023 so here we will be cover 75 important mcqs so let's proceed let's take a brief session overview first of all we shall discuss 75 important mcqs followed by 64 bonus questions which means they are total of 139 mcqs and then we have important dates important news persons in news places in news countries in news so all this for second week of february if you want the pdf of this session the session pdf is available in the description box you can follow the uh, steps provided in the description box to get the pdf or you can get it with current affairs package the details are in description box so let's proceed first question which union ministry along with the ministry of social justice and empowerment implements the namaste scheme the correct answer is ministry of housing and urban affairs so what is a namaste scheme namaste scheme it's a central sector scheme okay so it's a central sector scheme which means a scheme of central government and what does namaste stands for it stands for national action plan for mechanized sanitation ecosystem so it is basically related with the sanitation okay and uh, to give more information this year's union budget that is the budget which was announced for the year 23 24 uh, it has announced or allotted rupees 100 crore for this namaste scheme okay so i hope it's clear namaste scheme it comes under ministry of housing and urban affairs next question which cricketer scored 126 runs and set a new record for the highest individual score by an Indian in T20 cricket? It's Subban Gill. I think everyone know this. Okay, it was his uh, third T20 match against New Zealand. So this is clear. Next, which country has found the radioactive capsule that went missing in January? The correct answer is Australia. Okay, so Australia has found the radioactive capsule that went missing in January. Okay, it was found in a vehicle equipped with specialist equipment detect detected radiation. Okay, so this is simple. Uh, which AI powered chatbot has been recently launched by Google? It's Bard. Okay, you know that chat GPT had been launched a few months before, and uh, as its competition, Google has launched this AI chatbot called Bard. Okay, B A R D but so hope this is clear so there are two chatbots now one is chat gpt owned by or backed up by uh, microsoft and this is bard backed up by or owned by launched by google okay so this is simple due to the recent earthquake in turkey and syria what is the name given to the operation being run by india it's operation dost okay so operation dost is the name given to the operation done by india okay for the people in uh, turkey and syria okay because recently earthquake had hit turkey and syria and it it was devastated okay devastating condition was there due to the earthquake so this is it okay operation dost was the name launched by the operation launched by india okay operation dost with whom the petroleum planning and analysis cell signed a letter of intent for cooperation in the field of data and research correct answer is international energy agency okay it's headquarter iea's headquarter is at paris okay so i hope it's clear this uh, petroleum planning and analysis cell under the government of india has entered into agreement with international energy agency okay so i hope it's clear next who was who has won the atd best award 2023 for sixth consecutive year correct answer is ntpc okay that is national thermal power corporation it has won this atd best award for the sixth consecutive year how many judges are there in the supreme court after the new appointment so recently uh, five new judges has been appointed to the supreme court of india okay and which gives the total number of judges to 32 okay the maximum number of judges that can be appointed to the supreme court as per the constitutional provision is 34 okay and now there are only 32 judges available okay 32 judges in the supreme court okay two sort of the maximum uh judge capacity okay so 32 are the uh, current number of judges after the appointment of five new judges okay before this it was uh, 27 only next the u.s sangam is an initiative of pm modi to build clothes tie between whom it's between india and the youth of northeast india so in order to build a close tie between the mainstream india and the northeast india the uh, program called u.s sangam has been taken by our Prime Minister Modi as an initiative. Okay. 
A 13 year old girl uh, Das has won the title of world's brightest student. It's Natasha Periyanagam. Okay, Natasha Periyanagam. Uh, Peria Peri Nayagam, sorry, okay, Natasha Peria Nayagam. Uh, she has won the title of world's brightest student. Okay, so she's an Indian American. Okay, so not completely Indian, but an Indian American, and she's only 13 years old and has won the title of world's brightest student. Uncrave, which is the plant-based meat brand by Lysius, has signed home as an amb uh, brand ambassador. It's Veer Das. Okay, Veer Das. Everybody knows he's a comedian and an actor. So, Veer Das is the brand ambassador for Uncreve. Which company has been named Fortune Magazine's list of world's most admired companies? It's TCS. Okay, Tata Con Consultancy Services. It's a simple one line of news. Most world's most admired companies. TCS is also one of them. Which country is the highest milk producer in the world, contributing 24% of global milk production in the year 2021-2022? It's India. Okay. India is the highest milk producer in the world. K. Satyanarayan Razu has been named as MDN CEO of his bank. It's Canada Bank. Who in collaboration with GSME has unveiled a nationwide uh, digital skill initiative. It's Reliance Zero. Okay. Reliance Zero in collaboration with GSME has unveiled a nationwide digital skill initiative. Let me remind you that the PDF of this session is available in the description box. Next, Biz Khata for small businesses and merchant partners is launched by whom? Correct answer is Atil Payments Bank. Biz Khata, Atil Payments Bank. Okay, remember it. It's simple one liner. Uh, the question also asked in the same way. Okay, so Biz Khata, Atil Payments Bank. Deepak Chopra has received Golden Book Award for which book? So recently has received a Golden Book Award for the Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, a practical guide to achieving your dreams. Which planet has become the planet with the most moons? It's an interesting question. It's Jupiter. Okay. So the battle for the most known moons in the solar system is raging on. After losing its lead to Saturn in 2019, Jupiter had once again surged ahead. Okay. So before this, it was Saturn. And now again, Jupiter uh, is the planet with the uh, most known moons. Okay. Astronomers have counted 12 previously unknown moons in orbit around solar system's biggest planet jupiter bringing the known total to 92 so now uh, as per the known total it's 92 okay 92 total satellites 92 total known satellites are there revolving around jupiter okay so like uh, saturn it was 83 previously okay and now jupiter has beaten saturn so i hope it's clear okay so jupiter has become the planet with the most moons total of 92 planets and second is Saturn with 83 planets. Digital Payments Festival is an initiative launched by which ministry? It's launched by Ministry of Electronics and IT, also known as MEITY. Okay, so this is it. And the minister for this uh, electronics, information and IT is Aswini Basnav, who is also the Railway Minister. Which bank will start pilot project to launch QR code based coin vending machine? It's RBI. Okay, RBI will be launching this QR code based coin vending machines. Who has become the first Indian cricketer to debut in all for three formats of international cricket after the age of 30? It's Suri Kumar Yadav. Okay, Suri Kumar Yadav is the first Indian cricketer to debut in all three formats of international cricket after the age of 30 years. Which union minister inaugurated Mission Antyodaya Sarvekshan MAS 2020-23? Correct answer is Giriraj Singh. Okay, Giriraj Singh is the Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Minister and he has inaugurated this mission Antodaya Sarvekshan 2022-23. The government of which country has announced fifth dose of COVID-19 vaccine to all citizens aged 18 years and above. So the fifth dose of COVID-19 vaccine has been announced by Australia. Who has become the second cricketer in the history of international test cricket to score centuries for two countries? It's Gary Balance. So he is currently playing from Zimbabwe and he has become the second batsman to score test international centuries for two countries. He achieved this feat as soon as he scored century in the first test against West Indies. Earlier he had scored four test centuries for England. So uh, Gary Balance has scored test century for England as well as Zimbabwe. Okay. And he's the second cricketer, which means who is the first one? Kepler Vessels was the first cricketer. Okay, so just remember it. You can read more in the description box. Okay, in the PDF. Sorry. 
India has agreed for Tri-Nato Cooperation Initiative in fields including energy, defense, economy with which courtiers or with which countries? Correct answer is France and UAE. So India, France and UAE. Okay, there are three countries. So Tri-Nato Cooperation Initiative. Okay, India, France, UAE. Hope it's clear. Which union ministry implements the FAME scheme? Full form of FAME is faster adoption and manufacturing of EV, that is electric vehicles. So which ministry implements it? It's implemented by Ministry of Heavy Industries. Okay, it's Ministry of Heavy Industries. So I hope it's clear. The Minister for Heavy Industries is uh, Mahindranath Pandey. Okay, remember it. Next. Ministry of Cooperation signed MOU with which ministry to enable primary agriculture credit societies PACS function as common service center? Correct answer is again MEITY, Ministry of uh, Electronics and IT. What is the name of Indian military joint exercise which was held recently? It's uh, Trishakti Prahar. Okay, Trishakti Prahar. It uh, was concluded. Uh, as a joint training exercise, Trishakti Prahar began on North Bengal. Okay, bind scheme, which has been seen in news, is associated with which ministry? It's associated with information and broadcasting. The full form of bind, it's important broadcasting, infrastructure, and network development, and it's related with Ministry for Information and Broadcasting. Okay, as the as B stands for broadcasting. Okay, so remember it that way. And the total budgetary outlay for this financial year is 2500 crore okay, for this bind scheme. So, a pretty big amount of money has been invested by the government in this scheme. So, it is quite important to remember. Next, which country reported the death of 585 sea lions and 55,000 wild birds due to the H5N1 bird flu virus? Correct answer is. Peru, okay, Peru reported the death of 585 sea lions and 55,000 wild birds due to this H5N1 bird flu virus in recent weeks. Kala Gora, which is Asia's biggest multicultural art festival, began at which place after two years break? It's Mumbai, okay. So, Mumbai is related to this festival called Kala Gora. Which platform has become India's first app to support credit card on UPI? It's Mobi Quick. Okay. It's not Mobi, it's Mobi Quick. Okay. There's a typing error. Next, Defense Ministry signs deal with LNT, that is Larsen and Tubro, for procurement of 41 modular bridges worth how much? It's worth 2,585 crores with LNT. Okay. Remember it. Who backed the Atma Lifetime Achievement Award by Maruti Suzuki? KM Maiman is the uh, chairman of. MRF, okay, MRF tires. I think every one of you know, okay, MRF tires. And it has been given by uh, the India MDN CEO of Maruti Suzuki, Hisashi Tekuchi. What is India's rank in World Happiness Index? Okay, so recently World Happiness Index was released, and India's rank in it is 136. So 136th is India's rank in World Happiness Index 2023. So World Happiness Index, it is released by United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Okay, so this is it. And uh, the most happiest country is Finland and India has ranked 136th in this index. Okay, and uh, this question, which country has named as the world's most happiest country? We just discussed it. Finland. Okay, so it was for the fifth year in the row. Finland was named as the world's happiest country. Okay, India 136th in this index. Next, who has authored the novel Victoria City, which is an epic tale of 14th century woman who defies a patriarchal world to rule a city? Correct answer is Salman Rushdie. ISRO NASA's which satellite will be launched from India in September 2023? Correct answer is NISAR. What is the full form of NISAR? Is NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar. Okay, so NISAR is the full form of it. Uh, uh, sorry, short form abbreviation for this NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar, NISAR. Okay, N for NASA and I for ISRO. So this is it. So this will be launched in September 2023 and it will be. Uh, the joint venture of ISRO and NASA. Okay, NASA. Sorry. Next, Sky Air which has launched which in uh, DAS in which is India's first traffic management system for drones. So India's first traffic management system for drones is Sky UTM. Okay, Sky UTM. It launched by Sky Air. Okay, so it's India's first traffic management system for drones. UNESCO has declared DAS as world's first 
living heritage university it's Vishnu Bharati University and it's important that it was founded in the year 1921 and it was founded by none other than Rabindranath Tagore. Okay, it will be soon receiving UNESCO's heritage tag. Okay, so world's first living heritage university is Vishnu Bharati University. ICC T20 Women's World Cup has been held in which country? It was held in South Africa. Okay, ICC T20 Women's World Cup was held in South Africa. Next, India's first glass igloo restaurant is inaugurated in which state? It's inaugurated in Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, so India's first glass igloo restaurant was inaugurated in Jammu and Kashmir. Medium density amorphous ice, which was seen in the news recently, was created in a container filled with which material? It was filled with stainless steel. Okay, so medium density amorphous ice. In which state or UT for the first time in India, lithium reserves has been found? The correct answer to this question is Jammu and Kashmir. Next question, Google paid tribute to which actress of Malayalam cinema on her 120th birth anniversary through a doodle? Correct answer to this question is P.K. Rosie. Okay, so Google has paid tribute to P.K. Rosie, uh, who is the actress of Malayalam cinema on her 120th birth anniversary through a doodle. ISRO has installed how many satellites in low Earth orbit with SSLVD2 rocket? ISRO has installed three satellites, okay, with low Earth orbit with SSLVD2 rocket. And the name of the satellites are given here. You can just see it in the PDF or you can pause the screen to see it. In which city is Uttar Pradesh Global Investor Summit 2023 being organized? It's organized in Lucknow, okay, in the capital of Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow. This Global Investor Summit 2023 was organized. What is India's rank in recently released Global Quality Infrastructure Index 2021? The correct answer to this question is 10th. Okay, so in it has come in top 10 of the world. Okay, 10th rank. So this is it. Next, Pfizer India has recently appointed whom as its MD and CEO? It's Minaxi Neotia. Minaxi Neotia has been recently appointed as the new MD and CEO of Pfizer India. Which country has declared state of disaster in country on energy crisis? Correct answer, it's South Africa. Okay, South Africa has declared state of disaster in the country on energy crisis. Code nations include which of the following countries? Correct answer to this question is India, okay, because in coordinations there are four countries Australia, Japan, India, and US. Okay, AZIU, ASIU, you can remember this uh, abbreviation or mnemonic. Okay, A for Australia, Z for Japan, I for India, U for US. Okay, ASIU is the abbreviation for these coordinations. Okay, AZIU, ASIU, Australia, Japan, India, and US. First super magnet for testing in nuclear plants is launched by which power research company? Correct answer to this question is Takamak Energy. Okay, Takamak Energy. This country has ranked among top five accreditation system in the world. It's India. Okay, India's national accreditation system under this Quality Council of India has been ranked fifth in the world in the recent Global Quality Infrastructure Index. Which Indian golfer has won Kenyan Ladies Open title 2023? Correct answer is Aditi Asok. Okay, Aditi Asok. She is an Indian golfer and she has won Kenya Ladies Open title 2023. Aditi Asok. Who has passed the 500 league goal mark in his club career? It's Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, he plays from the club called Al Nasser. Okay, he had recently signed up for this Cristiano Ronaldo. So remember it okay he is a, port, a player from portugal i think he represents portugal i think everyone knows this cristiano ronaldo plays from al nasser and he has passed 500 league goal mark in his club career which indian cricketer become the fastest indian to pick up 450 test wickets it's ravi chandran aswin okay r aswin ravi chandran aswin has become the fastest indian to pick up 450 test wickets state of union that is sotu addresses in association with which country it's with us okay. so a united states president who is joe biden he recently delivered the sotu address at the joint session of the parliament in the u.s capital in washington dc so basically this address is associated with usa okay sotu address next 
Eagle 44, also known as Oghab 44, is the first underground air force base of its country. It's of Iran. Okay, Eagle 44 is the first underground air force base of Iran. So remember this name, Eagle 44, Iran. Meta launches digital Suraksha campaign in partnership with which Ministry of India for the G20 campaign? It's with again M E I T Y. Okay, so Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, has launched this digital Suraksha campaign. Okay, remember it. PM Modi inaugurated Alazmi Safia, which is an Arabic academy of Daudi Bohra community in which state it's inaugurated in Maharashtra. Who design, which designer has designed King Charles III coronation emblem? It has been designed by Johnny A.V. Okay, he is the chief designer of Apple, formerly, okay, former Apple chief designer. Johnny A.V. has designed King Charles III's uh, third coronation emblem. Which state government has launched Family ID, One Family, One Portal? So when it comes to the programs like One Family, it's with Uttar Pradesh, okay? One Family, One Portal, One District, One Sport. So these kind of schemes are generally launched by Uttar Pradesh, okay? Next. Who laid the foundation stone of Himachal Niketan, which aims to provide accommodation facilities to the students and residents of Himachal Pradesh visiting New Delhi? Who have launched it? It has been launched by the Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, who is Sukhvinder Singh Sukho. Okay, by the way, this question was asked in uh, under sexual prelims, okay, combined services prelims, that who is the CM of Himachal Pradesh, okay. So, this kind of questions are asked. So, just remember it, okay. So, here you can see PM Narendra Modi, Minister of Tourism is J.K. Reddy and Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan, likewise. Next, who launched Digital Payment Utsav? It has been launched by Swini Vaisnav, again, Railway Minister and MEITY, Ministry of I Information Technology and Communication Minister. Uh, which city is going to host World Government Summit 2023? It will be hosted by Dubai. Okay, so World Government Summit 2023 will be hosted by Dubai. Remember it. India has ranked in which place in ICAO's Aviation Safety Ranking? The India's rank is 55th. Okay, so 55 is India's rank in ICEO's EV is in safety oversight ranking. Which journalist was awarded Raza Ramohan Roy Award 2023? It has been awarded to ABK Prasad. Okay, so Raza Ramohan Roy National Award has been presented to journalist ABK Prasad for his contribution towards journalism. Which Indian skipper became the first Indian skipper to record hundreds in all three format? It's Rohit Sarma. How many billion dollars are announced by World Bank in aid for earthquake affected Turkey? It's 1.78 billion is the aid which has been announced by World Bank for earthquake affected Turkey. Which Indian athlete has won gold in short put event at the Asian Indoor Athletics Championship? Correct answer is Tajinder Singh Tour. Who has been appointed as the new lieutenant governor of UT of Ladakh? It's Dr. B.D. Mishra. Okay, B.D. Mishra is the new lieutenant governor of Ladakh, and uh, also we all know that Lakshman Prasad Asari has been appointed as the new governor of Sikkim, and likewise, many governors have been changed. Okay, Ramesh Bais is the new governor of uh, Maharashtra. Okay, so likewise, there are total of 13 names which you need to remember. Okay the governor of the states and UTs have recently changed okay I have made a separate video in this uh, channel only okay please go through that video who won men's recurve title in national ranking archery tournament it has been won by Tarundi Pry. okay he is an archer from Sikkim India which England player has recently announced his retirement from all forms of cricket it's Eon Morgan Eon Morgan who is a Cricket player from England, he have announced his retirement from all forms of cricket, which means T20, ODI and Test cricket, all forms, okay. Which team bought India's star batsman Smriti Mandana in the first woman Premier League WPL auction? Uh, Smriti Mandana has been bought by RCB, Rohit Challengers, Bangalore. PM Modi inaugurate Aero India 2023 in which city? It has been inaugurated in Bangalore. Okay, Aero India 2023. So these were the 75 important questions for this session. Now we have 64 bonus questions to be discussed. So please see these bonus questions. Bonus questions.
So these were the bonus questions. Now let's see important dates. Say for Internet Day, 7th of Feb, World Pulses, World Pulses Day, 10th of Feb, National Deworming Day, 10th of Feb, International Day of Formants and Girls in Science, 11th of Feb, theme is Innovate, Demonstrate, Elevate, and Advance, IDEE. World Unite Day, 11th of Feb, theme is Unite Medicine for Public Health, National Productivity Day, 11th of Feb, Theme is Productivity, Green, Growth and Sustainability. World Radio Day, 13th of Feb. Theme is Radio in Peace. RBI's Financial Literacy Week was observed from 13th to 17th February. Theme is Go Digital, Go Secure. And then Sarojini Naidu's Birth Anniversary, 13th of February. Next, International Childhood Cancer Day, it's 15th of February. And the theme is Better Survive. Persons in news. Places in news. Now we have important news. So this is it. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next video. Bye-bye.